So today we're gonna to be doing a full face of clean makeup. We're gonna talk about ingredients, what exactly is clean makeup, and some of the pros and cons of it. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today it's all about clean makeup. I'm sure you've heard about clean makeup, but what exactly is it? And is it good for our mature skin? What are the pros? What are the cons? Well, we are gonna dive into it and I'm gonna do a full face of makeup. We're gonna talk about different makeup brands and have some fun. So let's get into the video. How you doing? Okay, so clean makeup. Is it a real thing? Is it a scam? What defines clean makeup? Basically clean makeup means it doesn't include certain ingredients, natural or synthetic, like parabens and talc. The problem is without regulation, anything can be called clean. I know, isn't that crazy? What constitutes clean, safe, non-toxic, and transparent labeling on ingredients. It's all supposed to be geared towards Towards sensitive skin. You guys, I went through a rabbit hole of all these clean makeup companies. Some of the clean makeup companies that I've been really into and been testing out, Kosas, Tower 28, Ilya, Jones Road, Merit, Kier Weiss, Thrive Cosmetics, LYS Beauty. So there's a poo-poo platter of clean makeup companies that have really fantastic products for us. It's not as slim pickings as it used to be. I've already got my foundation slash SPF on, and today I went in with the Tower 28 Sunny Days. I actually really enjoy this foundation slash SPF. I love Tower 28 beauty products. They come out with beautiful foundations with SPF, bronzers, blushes, lip products, but I especially love their Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. It offers light coverage, it lays beautifully on my mature skin, and I find that the shade range is fantastic, and I'm in the shade Mulholland. Now, I've already done my brows with the Kosas Brow Pop Eyebrow Pencil. What's unique about this product is, of course, it has the spoolie on one end, the retractable pencil on the other, but I love how the pencil is actually angled so you can really precisely fill in your brows. It also contains skin loving ingredients like castor oil to promote the growth of your brows. I find that it is the perfect consistency on filling in your brows. It's not too waxy, it's not too creamy, but with precision, you can definitely fill in your brows and at the same time, nourish them. Now, another company that I didn't realize that was a clean makeup company is LYS. Now, you know I love their Triple Fix Serum Foundation, but they just recently came out with their Triple Fix Full Coverage Concealer. It looks like the baby version of their foundation. I love this concealer because not only is it full coverage, but it's also clean as well. It also has the same ingredients as their foundation. The doe fit is quite tiny, which I actually like. And I'm just gonna place a little bit where my under eyes are really dark and discolored, where I wanna lift and brighten my eye area and where I tend to get red. The only caveat is it's super hard to get back into the cute little component. Hello, come up with a better design. Let me pin my hair back. I like to take the heat of my fingertips since concealer is a much heavier consistency than foundation, and I like to melt the product for a better and more thorough application. Find that it doesn't settle into my fine lines. Now I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge that's already dampened and tap it in. And put whatever's left on my eyelids. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Since the LYS Triple Fix Serum Concealer is super emollient, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. And I'm gonna set it with the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting Powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Angie Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush. I'm gonna take a little bit on here and just press that powder right under my under eye area to set it. I find that this brush really picks up the powder, beautifully sets it in place. Now, if you hear the wind, I apologize. It is a super windy day here in Chattanooga. What's that expression? In like a lion, out like a lamb for the month of March? Holy moly, it is super windy out there. We ain't in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. I'm gonna go in with bronzer. This is the Kosas Sun Show Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. 
This has so many skin loving ingredients. It's actually fantastic for our mature skin. Now, this is a clean moisturizing baked bronzer made with shea butter to give you that glow your skin really needs. So if you have normal to dry skin like I do, I think your complexion would really love it. I'm gonna go ahead and take it on my BK 101 brush and I'm just gonna tap it. You really don't need a lot of product and just press it into my complexion right above my cheekbones already. Hello, look at the pigment on there. I'm telling you, you really don't need much. And the fact that it has shea butter to moisturize your complexion is just an added bonus. But look how beautifully that applies. Super quick, super sun-kissed. It comes in three different shades and I'm in the shade medium, but I find this doesn't add any additional texture. And since it contains skin loving ingredients, it really is good for your complexion but I absolutely love the Sun Show bronzer. So now that we've got the bronzer on, you know I love a good cream blush. I'm absolutely in love with Tower 28's cream blush, but Kosas came out with a color and light palette in cream, their Dewy Cheek Duo. Say that five times fast, Dewy Cheek Duo. I'm in the shade Velvet Melon. It's a warm peach cream you get a blush as well as a highlighter. Now, what's so great about this? It's a super blendable skin conditioning cream blush and highlighter palette in perfectly paired duos that gives a dewy pop of color. It contains apricot kernel seed oil, rosehip seed oil, as well as jojoba seed oil. You guys, this is such a beautiful shade, the perfect warm shade for spring and summer. I'm gonna swatch that for you right here. Isn't that beautiful? Go ahead and take a little bit on my fingertips and just tap it in. Look at that pigment, holy smokes. And just go ahead and dab it in. And let's take some on the other side. Now you can always shear it out or build up the pigment. And this is just stunning. And if you put a little bit too much, I like to go in with my, my BK106 and just diffuse it out. Look how fast that diffuses out, wow. Oh my Lanta, this is such a beautiful blush. When I was going down my rabbit hole of clean makeup beauty, I noticed one huge glaring thing, eyeshadow. Why is there not a lot of clean eyeshadows? Probably because eyeshadow contains like talc and different ingredients that are not deemed clean. There are fantastic alternatives out there. The Kosas 10 Second Liquid Eyeshadow that comes in a plethora of beautiful shades. You also have Jones Road Beauty if you wanna use the Miracle Balm as a quick wash of color. Jones Road also came out with the best eyeshadow in multiple shades, but we're gonna go for easy peasy today. I'm gonna use the Kosas, and by the way, this is not sponsored by Kosas. I just love their products. I'm gonna go in with the Kosas 10 Second Liquid Eyeshadow and show you how super fast you can apply this. You guys, this is the easiest way to apply your eyeshadow, and if you're looking for a clean alternative, this is fantastic. I just put it all over the lid, like that, and then I take it a little bit further up, and I love eyeshadows like this because I think they make your eyes just pop. 10 seconds, and then you can use your fingertips or a brush just to tap it out. But this is a stunning color, and I find it doesn't crease on my eyelids. Literally 10 seconds, isn't that stunning? It also comes in so many different shades. I absolutely love Simmer, which is like oyster pearl color, isn't that beautiful? Heat, which is a rose gold. I'm gonna take some of Simmer on my Sigma inner corner brush and just pop it right in the inner corner of my eye. And then pop it right under my brow bone to give my eyes that extra lift. Isn't that pretty? Now, to finish off the brows, I'm gonna go in with the Kosas Air Brow Gel. No, this is my absolute favorite brow gel. Oh my goodness, I love the pigment on it. It has those ingredients to nourish your brows as well as promote growth. But I love how it just sets my brows in place. And I'm in the shade medium brown. But that's all you need to finish off your eyebrows. Now, for eyeliner, I know it's gonna be tough. I usually love my Flower Beauty or my L'Oreal Le Liner Signature Mechanical Pencil. For today, I'm gonna to go in with Jones Road Eyeliner. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, it reminds me of an old school <laughs> number two pencil, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it across my lash line, upper lash line, just to smoke it out 
ever so slightly just to give my eyes a little bit of definition. And I find it plays really well with the 10 second liquid eyeshadow from Kosas. Clean doesn't have to be boring. Actually, I find it quite elegant, classy, and sophisticated. So then I'm gonna take the BK204, which is like this nice little tight brush and just smoke it out and blend it to soften that line. Oh, that diffused it beautifully. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna take it on my lower lash line and smoke it out. I don't want any harsh lines today. Very subtle. Do you see how we changed the look of that dark eyeliner and made it look very soft and diffused? Now for clean mascara, there are so many options out there. You've got Merit, Kier Weiss, and of course my all-time favorite, Jones Road, the mascara. And then Kosas has a mascara, the Big Clean, and I thought we would test that out today. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes. But Kosas came out with their Big Clean Mascara, and it's a clean mascara for instantly big, fluffy lashes powered by hair care serum that helps support stronger, healthier lashes. Now this was newly reformulated and safe for sensitive eyes, non-irritating and hypoallergenic. It's slightly curved as you can see. I love the fact that it has castor oil and it can actually nourish your lashes. Mascara's on. This is an awfully thick formula. It's still a nice mascara. I, it actually is very thick. You know how mascara gets better after a week or two of use, but I find this formula super thick, but it's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and try the cream highlighter from the Duo palette. The Dewy Duo palette, if I can open it up. What is it with Kosas products and difficult to open? But this is so pretty. It's like a really pretty coral gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap it through here and see how that looks. It looks really pretty with the blush. Very subtle. It just lays so pretty on the skin. This is pretty. This is very pretty. For lipstick, I used to think clean lipstick were kind of boring colors, but oh my goodness, I cannot believe how many beautiful shades of lipstick I have in front of me. It's gonna to be tough to pick one out, but Merit also has their new lipstick formula that came out. I have the shades Fashion and Tiger. Look how beautifully these are packaged. Let's go ahead and swatch Tiger. Ooh, that feels silky. Fashion, which is a beautiful berry shade right through here. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Fashion looks like a winner so far. Kosa has their lipstick too, and this is rose water. Now, if you're looking for a beautiful rose shade, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It's like a pinkish shade. Aren't those beautiful? Ooh, I wanna play, let's play. I'm gonna go ahead and try Tiger. Oh, these are super silky and soft. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Fashion, very silky. Ooh. And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with Kosas's. Ooh. Now this is a really pretty rosy pink color, perfect for spring. I really like this and it feels beautiful on the lips. Very pretty. Which one's your favorite? This is really nice. Soft, pretty, classic, the perfect spring lipstick. Okay, so my favorite is fashion. I'm gonna go back in with fashion. Ooh, yes, definite fashion. Okay, here we are with the final look. Now, like I said, clean makeup doesn't have to be boring. And what I love about some of these makeup companies, I love that the fact that they infuse it with skincare loving ingredients like Kosas. I know their tagline is makeup for skincare freaks. That's what I absolutely love. But as you can see, there are so many cosmetic companies out there that offer you options for clean makeup. And I think that's perfect for our mature skin. What is your favorite clean makeup company? I know there's so many more out there that I probably haven't mentioned. There are definite options out there for us. But in my next upcoming video, I'm going to be reviewing and testing out the brand new It Cosmetics CC and Nude Glow Foundation. Woo! 
one of you guys suggested it to me and I couldn't wait to test it out. So that'll be coming an upcoming video. Super excited for that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of my family. In case you want to hang out a little bit longer and check out some foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over here. But for now, mwah, mahal kita. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Are you kidding me? Wow. Do you hear that wind? <gasps> Don't be scared, kitty.